Welcome to a sunny San Francisco Zoo. It's always this sunny, by the way. Um, uh, I'm Tanya Peterson, director and CEO of San Francisco Zoo and Gardens. And uh, I believe 2020 needed a positive story. And the return of our ringtail lemur to his home is such a story that we needed. It's important for two reasons. One, as an individual, he was an aging wild animal who needed special care, including special medicines like arthritis. While he's back here, he's still agitated, dehydrated, and hungry. We're working with our vet teams and wellness teams to get him back to health. He's socially distancing from his primate family, but we hope to get him returning with his family soon. But just as importantly is his species. The lemur is only born in the island of Madagascar, an island off of Africa. Only 3% of Madagascar's forest remain. It is anticipated that within 20 years, Madagascar will have no trees to support lemurs, and these lemurs will be extinct on the island of Madagascar. It's thus only zoos like San Francisco Zoo who will home and provide habitats for lemurs and other species of Madagascar. So what is so wonderful about this story is that our community came together, our local police officers, our local churches, our local community, to give us the tips to recapture and reunite him in such a special way. Also, our board of directors has committed doubly to this exhibit, the largest outdoor lemur exhibit, and will double its size to have one of the largest Madagascar centers in the world. I'm just so pleased and I thank everybody for their involvement. It was perfect ending. Um, and I guess I need to also thank um, the perpetrator for doing the right thing in the end. So I thank you and welcome to San Francisco Zoo. An officer. Good afternoon. Better? Yes, okay. Um, good afternoon. I'm Lieutenant Scott Ryan, R Y A N, from San Francisco Police Department. I am the officer in charge of the burglary unit. Uh, standing to my left is Sergeant Scott Hom, H O M, and he is the lead investigator in this uh, investigation that we've been doing for the last couple of days. Um, on the 14th of October, two days ago, we uh, responded out here to investigate the possible theft of the uh, lemur. Uh, we conducted an investigation here uh, with our investigators, with our crime scene uh, personnel. And um, at that point, we then put out information uh, through the press and the public, uh, asking for any tips or any information to come into our tip line, and then reach out to all our partners and other agencies in, in the hopes of recovering the lemur. Um, fortunately, uh, the following day, the lemur was recovered in a nearby playground in Delhi City. Uh, was safely taken uh, back to the zoo by Delhi City PD and Animal Care and Control. Um, later on that uh, evening, which was actually last night, we were fortunate and able to identify a suspect that was taken into custody in Santa Rosa by Santa Rosa Police Department. I'm sorry, Santa Santa Fe Police Department on an unrelated criminal investigation. Uh, that suspect was uh, booked into uh, jail in Marin County. And once released on those charges, will be transfer transferred over to uh, San Francisco County Jail, where he will face charges for uh, the burglary, the theft of uh, Maki. Um, it, it was, I will have to say, it was a collaboration of um, getting information out to the public. We did receive a couple uh, very important tips from our tip line, and all that information was actually corroborated and did help in our investigation, um, as well as our partners in Daly City and in uh, San Rafael, and the communication between all the agencies and the effort to 
uh, not only importantly bring the animal back, but uh, was able to uh, identify and take a uh, suspect into custody.